everyone, welcome back. Happy Friday. Um, I am on my way to Exton for a um, bald face hornet nest removal um, in a rhododendron. Um, the customer had one like a year or two ago in the bush and they said they sprayed it and it ended up just killing um, the part of the bush that they sprayed so they wanted to remove it uh, my way, hence they, they hired me. Um, so we'll see if this uh, makes it to YouTube. Barely uh, six feet off the ground. And there was a nest uh, in the same bush, I think it was last year, the guy said the year before, and they sprayed it. Um, but the spray killed the area of the bush um, where the chemical hit, so I wanted to go a different route. Don't know if they tolerate me too much. You can see in the inside. Got my glass, safety glasses on and ball cap. Not much of a reaction, but see you with the flash can see it. So I just want to get a look at the comb in there. Let's see. Doesn't seem to like that too much. Started. I think there's a screen uh, separating us. Looks like they're uh, they're coming out of the bottom part too, just to the left of the vacuum. They got that layer, so there's obviously gaps. It's not just one entrance hole, so you think you're just plugging one hole and then bagging it. Well, you got another thing coming if uh, that's what you think you're going to be able to get away with. People tend to, I guess they think something, but we'll see how it actually goes once they actually uh, do it. But. People make comments that, oh, just bag it or plug the entrance. Well, it's not that easy. You probably never even tried it, wouldn't even attempt to. Some of them might have, but I'm going to learn it's not that easy. So you've all seen uh, the vacuum. I'm going to turn this off and uh, use both hands. I might uh, set this one up somewhere. I don't know. Shot at me. And uh, try to back away. kind of hover and then they get sucked up. Alright, so here's the catch. I counted uh, 37. And one did fly back um, before I um, bagged it, flew actually into the nest, and I was able to put the pillowcase, case the nest, and then uh, clip the branch. As you can see, it's clipped right there. Um, been hanging out a little bit, haven't seen anything else fly back. Um, it's probably about a 40-some worker nest, I'm guessing, because there's probably some tendrils in there and some that didn't come out to attack. So, yep, 37 in here, plus hopefully a queen, and... Um, 
whatever other workers there are, uh, plus the breed. All right, um, July the 15th, 2022. All right, be safe. Have a good uh, weekend. Bye-bye.